football game. And uh, really now the I think the tempo basically changes. Poots here, nice move around the center, gets in and tackles him for no gain. Really dominated, I thought, the interior line play. Uh, Poots here did. You can see him there. He is again, big 75. I mean, he was like a wrecking machine all over the field. Third and, and seven here. Big play here. Chandler just keeps on a naked bootleg, and we lose containment, you know, getting a little anxious chasing uh, the play on the opposite side, and they pick up the first down to keep the drive alive. And they throw a nice completion to Franklin. And now they're moving into our territory. Nice play here, holding them short of a first down. Time's running out. We're approaching about the one minute mark left in the first half. Good pressure there. Poots here gets in there. And then Devin Fitzpatrick and Kozak get the sack. Poots here forced him to set up. You can watch. Uh, the game's played a lot different these days with, uh, with where the hands are allowed to go by offensive people. And Poots here forced him up in the pocket. And Devin Fitzpatrick comes in there. You can see he almost tried to hand off the ball to a lineman there. And so on fourth down, interesting call here, about seven to go. Huskies go for the fake punt. Well, we're in safe punt, but uh, we don't play it real well, and they, they needed eight and picked up six. So if it had been a shorter uh, situation, uh, we'd have been in a little trouble. But uh, as it turned out, it gave us an opportunity to capitalize on it coming downfield. Great throw and catch there by J.J. Burden. Uh, Musgrave just threw it up over the linebacker, and we catch the ball. Watch it again. This is on a little, little rollout pass, kind of a drop back scramble. And Musgrave lofts it up over the linebacker who leaps up in the air. Looks like he might get it, but J.J. leaps up higher and longer and stays there. Looked like Michael Jordan on that uh, way he hang, was hanging in the air. So then after a gain of 17 to Terry Obi with five seconds left to play in the half. This is a big field goal for momentum and just the way things had gone. And Kirk Dennis comes through and bangs it. And you get the three points and have the lead at the half. Kicking into the wind. Uh, a very timely and important kick. See it again on the replay here. Kicks it straight through. There's no doubt all three of his field goals were right down the heart. And that had a lot more room to spare. Well, let's uh, start the third quarter of uh, highlights. The Ducks are leading the Huskies 17 to 14. Now, because of the quirk of the toss the coin and the whole bit, the Ducks will kick off again to start the second half. And Kirk Dennis doing the honors. Deep to Riley at about the three. He returns it uh, 18 yards where he is down by Kyle Kozak. First play we see will be a first and 10 from the Washington 35 after the Huskies had picked up an initial first down. Option play there uh, played very well by Matt Brock, Anthony Newman, uh, hold him to a one yard gain. They throw incomplete. Washington's forced to punt and Obi does a great job here handling it. Cooper's gonna get a great block right there. And Obi picks up 15 yards on the return. See on the replay here, Obi sets it up real nice because he freezes him inside, dips outside. Cooper comes off of a block there, hits number 39, knocks him down. We've got some people out front, and Obi gets tripped up. Looked like he could have gone the distance on that, but he didn't quite pick up his feet. Great field position, and this would have been a chance to put a nail in the coffin. We throw a little pass to Obi on first down. He tries to run before he catches it. It's incomplete. Second down. Second down, we try to run a trap play, and bang, we don't block anybody. And now it's third and about 11. Come on the rollout. Everything's covered. Musgrave just throws it away. So fourth and 12. You need to get points on this series after that bad punt, and Kirk Dennis gets three for you. Drilled it. Now that went clear up into the stands. I mean, he was his leg was active. Nucle Alive. Nuclear. <laughs> so the Huskies get it back. First down and 10. They try to run again. Counter play. Talbot and Palmeyer, a free safety. Up in there. Nice, nice play here by Tom Talbot initially making contact and then Palmeyer coming up and knocking them back. You can see at this point the Huskies are having a very difficult time trying to run the ball on us. You're ahead 20 to 14, and this is a huge play in the ball game. Chandler goes upstairs to Slater. Brett Young is the defender. Boom, knocks the ball loose, fumble, and is recovered by Brett Young. Brett was uh, suffering the effects of a little bit. Now watch, watch Poots here put the pressure on right here. Bang, he hits Chandler as he released it. The ball's kind of floating. Brett Young got turned around, but 
bang, you see the left arm go out, intentionally trying to knock the ball out. Now, we work on those things, but you never know whether the players are going to have the presence of mind to do it. And boy, that was a great big play by Brett Young. Indeed it was, because you get the football back. Chandler was injured on the play, a leg injury, although he did return later in the contest. So the Ducks get it back. They have the lead, and they have the football. A little quick toss to Lattenberry, shakes one tackle, straight arms another, makes a nice run. It's about nine, second down and one. Derek Lavelle picks up about three. So it's first and ten for the Ducks. Musgrave mixing it up a little here. Go to the tight end, Tim Parker. A little delay pass to Parker. On first down, we pick up about three and a half. Next play we see is a third and five. Big play here. Hit J.J. Burden, who's covered man-to-man -man by, uh, I believe, David Rill, and he just outruns him. You can see we're running a little sprint out here. Sprint out, 38's going to cover J.J., which is a mismatch in man-to-man -man coverage. And Musgrave hits him dead center on the run, and J.J. picks up about 18 yards and a first down. Big first down as the Ducks now have the football at their own 47. Nice run there by Lavelle. Picks up five on first down. Second down, it's back to the tight end, Tim Parker. Nice grab there by Tim. Covered well, nicely thrown ball. And Musgrave does a good job here setting up. This is a little bootleg, but he sees pressure, sets up inside, releases the ball before the pressure can get to him from the backside, and finds Parker for the first down. Now, a couple of plays later, it's second and 16 for the Ducks after a penalty. Coming right at you, Terry Obey. It's an audible uh, on a blitz, and uh, Musgrave audibles to Obey on the curl. Picks up a nice game. Now we get on third and about four here. We lose about eight on a sack, which makes this field goal even more important from 53 yards. Look at the distance on this thing. I mean, that could have gone 65 yards. He drilled it down the heart. Big, big kick for us. So, Dennis, 3-4-3 three, three in the field goal department. Well, at this point of the football game, entering the fourth quarter, the Ducks have the lead. They have the football and appear to be in total control of this game and will eventually get a touchdown at the end of this drive. Lawson gets about one, and that sets up a second down and nine. Musgrave rolls, finds Lawson, turns on the Jets, gets a great block from Rod Green, and into the end zone. Lawson's in there. Lavelle is hurt at this time, and Musgrave comes on the rollout again. We get a matchup with a linebacker and man-to-man -man coverage on Lawson this time, and Lawson turns on the speed and goes down the si sideline. This is the type of plays that made him the Bay Area Player of the Year two years ago. I got a little upset with him about putting that ball in the air until he got in the end zone. He put it up on the five, and I... Hope that he won't do that again. I hope he has a lot of chances to do it, but doesn't do it again. There you go. Now you go for two. We go for two, and officials blow the call. You can see our right tackle moves. It's a dead ball. It should have been a penalty. The play should have been nullified. We should have been penalized five yards. Then we probably go out and try to kick it at that point with seven or eight yards to go. But they've just totally blow the call. So the Ducks uh, kicking off to the Huskies. Early in the fourth quarter, the Ducks leading 29 to 14. Ball comes out. Nice tackle there, but the ball comes out and, and the Huskies recover it. So again, your defense on the field. The crowd is just electric at this moment. Anthony Newman makes a play, and you can just see everybody's excited. I think our players almost started to celebrate a little too early here, and uh, the Huskies come back and do a, make a nice drive. Nice job by, by Brock there. Now we've got him in long yardage again, and. Uh, See if we can get some pass rush on here. We do. They sprint out to the corner. We miss a tackle there. Chandler throws incomplete. Really a nice play on that by Anthony Newman breaking up the pass. We can't move on the next series. We're forced to punt, and we just have a total breakdown on the left side of our punt team. Turn a Husky free, and he blocks the punt. And I'm sure everybody uh, is saying, well, here we go again. The Huskies are going to win the game on a blocked punt. Tom. I think both yourself and uh, Don James said that this might have been the key series of the yep. ball game. Tom Meyer breaks up that play there. Now they run the reverse. You'll see a clip right there. And we tackle the play for no gain, uh, but we elect to take the 15-yard penalty and force them back 
into uh, to a second and 25. Chandler back to throw, throws deep into the end zone. Boy, that looks like an interception. I didn't see that as clearly. You'll see it on the replay here. Chris Oldham makes a great break on the ball, comes in front of the receiver, catches it. His both feet are in, and he calls it incomplete. I can't believe it. So that nullifies an interception. And then on third down, Chandler pressured. If that's not intentional grounding, there's no, no such thing. We've got him in the grasp. He just throws it into the dirt. Good pressure here by Matt Brox. Got him in the grasp. You can just see him throw it flat in the dirt. It's really not dirt out there. It's artificial surface. A little sand in there, I guess, but uh, no dirt. So then on fourth down, Chandler, Brock again from the left side of the screen. It's the paw. Nice, nice pass rush by Matt Brock. We're, we're certainly getting a lot more pressure on the quarterback than we did a year ago. This is a third and 10. And a nice grab there. So the Huskies then uh, knocking on the door step here. Second and goal from the seven. And they run a pick play and pick our coverage man off uh, very cleanly and uh, gets Slater wide open in the end zone for the touch. Now they go for two and Derek Horton will make a nice play on this. Breaks on the ball right there and just splatters the tight end and knocks the ball out of there. Big play. Big play because this two pointer, you know, uh, puts them in, in position that eventually the safety put him in and now they, they have to go and score twice to beat us. So they have to go for the onside kick. You see it's 29 20, 143 to play. And the onside kick, Brownlee, the barefooter. The officials are really slow getting to this play, and they let a lot of tugging and going on. I felt Anthony Newman had the ball on the ground, and after about 35 seconds then uh, letting them pull it away, they had taken it away from him underneath the pile. And now they come right back down the field, and uh, they're moving. But as you mentioned, they need two scores in this situation. Big play here, controversial play. I mean, that's not controversial. That's just a terrible call. Uh, they mark it on the one-yard line. There's, there's such a thing as a momentum rule here. The ball is in the end zone when he catches it. It's crossed the plane, and his momentum carries him clear back to the middle of the end zone. This ball, see his foot came down on the, about the, the one-foot line, but look where his momentum carries him. There's no doubt that that ball should have been a touchback and brought out to the 20-yard line. No doubt. Instead, the ball is brought out to the half-yard line. So that makes it tough. Now, of course, Washington is thinking safety, and you're thinking safety, trying to avoid it. I used a timeout here to trying to explain the momentum rule, and the officials uh, at that time didn't want to overrule it. And this is a second down play. We almost get a safety there. Latin trying to bounce it outside when there was nothing in the middle. And then we hand it off. and. Actually, we have a little hole, but we run in. We should have cut it back, and we get uh, a safety. Big play for the Huskies. So the safety brings the uh, Huskies to within seven points. You must kick off, and almost a disaster here. They almost break this for this a touchdown. This is our, clearly our worst coverage of the day. And you can see we're just reaching and grabbing and missing tackles. And thank God Anthony Newman again saves the day. Now Chandler comes on a rollout, goes deep, and it's deflected in the end zone. And a real nice play there by Ron Gould. We're just in a three deep zone here, trying to protect deep. And Gould makes a nice diving interception. You can breathe a little saver. easier at this point, Coach. I never thought I was going to that last two minutes. <laughs> 29. 22, the first Duck victory at home against Washington since 1973, and the first time in seven years that the Ducks have defeated the Huskies, and they did it convincingly. Congratulations, good luck next week, and we'll see you next week, same time, same place, as the Ducks take on the USC Trojans. Good afternoon, everybody. It's Soundfest week on OPB Radio. Tune in 91 FM or 55 AM and pledge Oregon your support for provocative, entertaining, and, and informative Shosky. public radio. Shosky Lumber Company, Portland. Waddle's Restaurant and Original Taco House.
Taylor Electric Supply, Portland, the Oregon Club of Portland, Winona Martin, Immer and Oswald, Volvo and Subaru, Gladstone.